So, hello and welcome back. Now, today we are changing the front driver's side ABS sensor on the Ford Ranger. Now, for the last four or five months, I've had this uh, ABS light come on the dashboard, but intermittently. Um, so, I haven't got a computer to plug into a Ford. So, I went to the garage up the road and they said it's the right hand wheel sensor. Now, I went into Ford's and it's over well over £200 for this sensor, which I think is daylight robbery. Uh, a second, well, a cheap uh, copy part is like 25 quid. And I thought, hmm, sounds a bit too cheap, you know. Uh, so I've opted for a second-hand 90-day warranty part. All right. Now, I don't normally buy second-hand sensors, but I've actually bought two or three in the last couple of years. And actually, they've been quite good. So uh, I thought I'd take a risk again. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to change the sensor. So this is what we've got. Yeah, this is ridiculous. There's so many clamps going on it. Look at this, look, there's loads. Um, someone's actually painted those silver at some point for some reason. Um, yeah, not sure about why they've done that, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go and start on the Ford Ranger. So to do this job, you're gonna need some sockets. <laughs> um, that's about it really. It's actually quite a straightforward job. So the ABS sensor, it's a bit of a wire with this look. There you go. You know, there's no seems to be, it doesn't seem to go direct. There's the sensor there. So you just undo this nut and it'll come out. And the wire comes up here. That's on a bracket. So you've got to take the bracket off because the bracket's attached to the wire. And there's another bracket here. There's another bracket here. There's another bracket there. There's another bracket there. Then there's a clip, and then I don't know if you'll see it yet, but this is a little hole. This then goes through the hole in the car. There's like a little bung thing up there. I don't know if you can see it. In the... I don't know if you can see it right now, but we'll come to that later. And then we'll go onto the engine bay after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one off at a time and work my way back with it until we sort of get to this point. So bear with me. So it is actually a 12 millimeter. Cool, that's on there well. Hang on. There we go. Now, I have cheated slightly. I have actually had this... Oh, hang on, I can't do it on camera. Uh, I've had this out actually already. I had this out and checked it and cleaned it, and I also had the other end out. But fortunately, the sense is the sensor itself. I'm not sure why it's playing up, but it is. Um... But uh, he'll be all right. So let me get back to you in a moment. So that's the new sensor in. It's not tight yet. We'll tighten that up in a bit. Um, now this bracket here that comes off here, there's the nut for it there. Now this is a bit awkward because you seem to have you have to have one of these. Yeah. Still again, twelve millimeter. But it's, look, it's very. Even with that, it's not very good. Bear with me. So that's the new one there. Now we've got to do this one. Um, there's a lot of this, isn't there? There's a lot of these brackets. It's unbelievable. It's like a, it's like a, just a maze all the way around. You think they've just gone, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's get this one off. I have to say though, this truck's 2011. And it's really, it's actually quite. It's, if you get a Jag, it's 2011, and oh, this would be a nightmare. Good old Ford. Thing with this truck is the chassis on it is excellent so i bought it done a lot of miles mind you but that's why i bought it but i mean hopefully this second hand sensor will fix this issue because this is what the man in the garage said on his diagnostic this is why you keep getting an orange abs light so we'll find out that's that one done this is why it's massively long isn't it <laughs> so the next one is this one uh, which the bolt is there, the, okay? Let's see how this one comes off. So this one I found it easy to do with a smaller ratchet. I found the bigger one, didn't really, you couldn't really get in there to get it off. Right, let me come back to you when I've got the new one on. So there we go, that's that one. Now we've got this one. Um, this one was a bit fiddly, because it's a bit tight. You can see, you can see I've actually worn this piece of rubber, <laughs> trying to get it, but, um, yeah, so this is the next one. Then we've got one more bracket after that. And that's last of the metal brackets. So this is the next bracket. So let's get that one done. So now 
you just need to swap that one. Now that just, you just press these two at the back uh, and it pops out. And then the next one, I don't know if you can see it now. You can see there's like a hole. Let me put the torch on, hang on. So there you go, see it? Nice and easy, yeah? That just pops out. So now we have to go under the bonnet. So now we're gonna put the wheel back on because we can thread it through now from when the wheel's back on it's level on the ground. So let's get the wheel back on. So we need to take out the washer bottle because I don't know if you can see it from here. Right down there, let me get the light. See that hole there? That's the plug. And you see this plug here behind the headlamp? It's not gonna focus, but that is the ABS. So, but to do it, you've got to take this washer bottle out. I've tried doing it without taking this out and it's an absolute nightmare. You either take the battery out or take this out. And I found this was just as quick because then you haven't got to mess around with your radio codes and all that. Okay, that's part of the reason. So uh, let's take it out. So once you unplug it, you can just lift it out of the way like that. You don't even have to empty it. So, this one is for the washer bottle, by the way. So now we've got our disconnect. Now this is a little bit fiddly. So bear with me. So there we go. I don't, this isn't showing up very well at all down here. So you just push that through that hole in the bottom of the car. If, hang on a minute. <laughs> there we go, it's gone. So now I need to lie under the car and push the new one through. So, the old ones fell out behind me. So what you do with this, put that, through there like that, and that, hang on, that you just pop like that. Now that's easy, isn't it? Very easy. So let's get top side again. There's the old one. Doesn't really look anything wrong with that, does there? But no. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's the old one. So can we see the new one? There it is. So all we're gonna do is connect it up. So let me just push it back in. So that's it. Yeah, let me try and... It's not focusing very well, but it's down there. It's all plugged in. You can see that's where it come through. So now I've just got to put this back in. So that's it all back together again. So uh, yeah, I've just got to tidy up now and we're going to test it. Is it, is it going to go off? Yes. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah. Let's hope it don't come on again. So the ABS light is now off. I've just been for a drive and uh, yeah, good. So I think that's uh, fixed that problem. So that's really good. Um, yeah, really happy with that because it's been coming on now. When I first got the truck, it used to come on like randomly, like once every two or three months on a trip and then you turn it off and it wouldn't come on again then for another month. And then it started getting more and more and more and now it's coming on nearly every trip. So uh, yeah, let's hope it stays off. Uh, I've just been around the village, turned it off, waited 10 minutes, uh, turned it on, drove around again nothing so that's really good so uh yeah so thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed that video um and i will catch you all very soon